Parmel 29.2 includes a number of enhancements that aim to improve the overall user experience while substantially reducing the time spent programming your parts. The first improvement we're going to see solves a graphic problem many users have reported in the past. In previous versions of Parmel, the point around which the view rotated did not seem to relate to any specific point in space or on the model. As a result, our model could end up spinning out of our view whenever it was being rotated. Parmel 2019.2 now addresses this by projecting a point from the center of the screen onto the model and using this as the rotation center. Let's now look at an example of this to appreciate how this change will improve the user experience. On the left hand side of my screen, you can see the behavior we experienced in all versions of the software when trying to rotate a model, while on the right hand side, you can see how this has been improved, making it much easier for users to inspect particular areas of their parts. There have also been a number of substantial performance improvements which should result in Paramil being much faster to use. The first speedups relate to simulation and NC program verification. In one of the projects used for testing, the time needed to verify an NC program dropped by more than 70%. The creation of NC programs has also been speeded up, by up to 90% in some cases. Opening and closing projects has also been enhanced in Paramil 2019.2, with many tests showing a 10% decrease in the time needed to open projects and up to 90% decrease when closing projects containing large models with or without toolpaths. We've also made it faster to use your Paramil tool database. The typical time needed to raise the database interface has been reduced by up to 20%. Once the form has been raised once, subsequent raises can be up to 80% faster. Moreover, searching for a tool in your database is now up to 80% faster than in previous versions. While this video considers Paramil 2019.2, I'm going to mention several speedups that were included in the 2019.1 release. An example of this is the time needed to calculate a 3D offset toolpath inside a complex boundary on a large part. In our tests, the calculation time went down by up to 70%. Our tests showed that opening a large project with thousands of holes took 90% less time in Parmel 2019.1 compared to previous versions of the software. Another important enhancement was made to the area clearance toolpath algorithm. For programs utilizing step cutting, for parts with many pockets, the time needed to calculate the error clearance strategy went down from roughly 3 hours to just 7 minutes. Based on a number of customer test parts, this represents a drop in calculation time by more than 95%. We first added the concept of machining setups in Parmel 2019.0. When Parmel 2019.1 was released, we improved the time needed to add setups to NC programs. In some cases, Parmel 2019.1 was 18 times faster than the 2019.0 version. Returning to Parmel 2019.2, there are a couple more enhancements that are worthy of a mention. First, we have improved support for 4K screens to enable users of this type of hardware to make better use of the available screen space and resolution. Finally, we have improved the posts in the cloud interface by adding a Cloud Option File button to the NC Program tab of the ribbon. Clicking on this will open up your default internet browser and prompt you to log in to access your post-processor files. You can also access this by clicking on the question mark icon on the top right of the Parmel interface and selecting Autodesk Cloud Option Files, as you can see on my screen. These were the general enhancements and speedups included in Parmel 2019.2 and 2019.1, aimed at improving the overall user experience and reducing calculation times, allowing CAM programmers to create better quality parts faster.